And so, let's just... Hooray! Plug up that. Alright, and it looks like there's more to explore down that way. Is there anything to explore this way? No, this is all lit up. Let me take out this one stone, because it's bothering me. Alright. This is also going to be a bit of a narrow passage. Let's open this up a tiny bit. Alright, let's see where the water was going. It was going nowhere, except for it does lead me to some coal and some iron. So I'll take a moment to mine this, and then see you guys in a minute. Alright, and so I followed the waterfall that was down to here and mined out all the coal and iron. And at this point, uh, I don't see any other immediate cave places that I need to explore. I finally lit up all of this stuff. And so, though I'm more interested in caving than mining, at this point, since one of my goals is diamonds, I'm just going to go ahead and start digging down until I... Ooh, I was going to say break into another cave system. But it looks like I may have found one immediately. There's an underground lake here. So let's check it out. This is pretty cool. I rarely find underground lakes like this. Um, got scary cave noises. It's not too deep. Got some iron on the ceiling. It's getting deeper over here. I can still walk rather than swim. Oh, now I have to swim. Okay. And so I've got it all lit up, but it looks like there's another room over here. So let's check that out. And it's small. And ore is on the ceiling. All right. And I don't have a good sense of where the bottom of uh, this lake is, but it doesn't seem like it's too deep anywhere. So I'm going to take a moment to mine all the various ores I just saw on the ceiling of this underground lake. And I will see you guys in a moment. All right, welcome back. That was very fruitful. There was actually a lot of different ore uh, kind of scattered nearby this underground lake. Uh, but now that I've dealt with all that, I'm just going to pick a direction to start mining downwards again until I encounter another cave system. And so I will pick you guys, join you guys back into the party uh, when I find something interesting. All right, I'm definitely getting closer to the bottom. I've been digging down, 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 and finally I've hit some redstone. I also found another uh, coal vein, uh, but now I know I'm getting close to the bottom, but I'm going to continue digging and let you know when I see something cool. All right, well, it didn't take much longer. Here's where I first saw the redstone, and I dug down, I don't know, five or six more steps, and there is bedrock. And so I would like to go two, three, four, five... Yeah, about this many levels above the bedrock. Actually, here is not too bad. Um, and so maybe I will just start hauling some stuff out over here, hoping to either break into a cave system or find diamond, because I'm at the right level. Uh, and so I am going to do that, and I will bring you guys back in when something cool happens. All right, so just to give you an update on what I did, I started digging this way, and I found a lava pool. So I turned around, I started digging this way, I found a... Uh, a vein of coal, and so I mine out the coal, but now I'm standing here, and I don't know if you can hear it, but there is some something walking on dirt, and I also heard a skeleton sound, and so I know there must be a cave over in this direction. Given where the lava is pooling, pretty much right at the level that I'm standing on, I think the cave has to be a few levels above me, and so my plan to find that cave is I'm going to go back up my staircase, I'm going to go up Three or four steps. Let's say four steps. Let's go ahead and move this. Ah! I just want to take down this torch. Why doesn't it want to go? I don't know. There we go. Uh, yeah, and now I'm going to tunnel over that way in the direction where I heard the noises. Aha! And so we found a cave. And unfortunately, I hear walking, 
but I don't hear any other noises, and so I'm pretty sure there's a creeper right around here. And so... Huh. All right, it looks like this opens a little bit higher to the left and to the right, and so I am going to be a little bit of a chicken and close that up so that someone can't get me from there. What's that saying? Discretion is the better part of valor? That sounds good to me right now. And so I'm a little bit higher and a little bit off to the left, and so I'm hoping I'll break into this room in a slightly different place that might be a little safer. Let me put out another torch to make sure you guys can see. Aha! Okay, so here we are in this room again. I can see a bit more into it. Oh, I can see a lot more into it. All right, let's mine a little bit over here so I can see around the corner. I heard footsteps to my left. Yeah, it looks like there's a big cave system here. Yep. Okay, so it looks like it goes up to the left, and it looks like it goes down to the right, and yeah, lots of various different directions. I don't like the up to the left because it looks like there's a lot of places that enemies could be over there. And so now that I have a better look at kind of what's going on, I'm going to go back down to this level because I'm less afraid of what's immediately to the left of me. Uh, because I've lit up some of that, and so I am going to go this way. Hey, gold! Lots of gold. And that seems to be the only thing over here right now. So, I will actually take a minute to mine the gold, and also mine some coal and some other things that I see here, and see you guys in a moment. All right, I've mined out the gold that was right here and a good bit of the coal that was over there. And now I'm feeling brave, and so I'm going to ignore this way up here. <laughs> ah, crap! Yeah! <laughs> I love that. I'm feeling brave. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, Brian. All right, where'd the skeleton go? I've got my bow and arrow ready. Where'd you go, Skelly? Well, he was obviously over here somewhere. Ah, there he is! Crap! Alright. Let's eat some food real quick. And then let's do what I was going to do, which is walk this way. Whew! Man, one attack really will get the blood flowing. Okay, and the good news is this is a dead end. All right, so I've cleared out one dead end that I don't have to worry about enemies getting at me from. Uh, I actually could take a moment to take uh, craft some more torches. And, yeah, I've been collecting lots of coal. Coal, assuming I stay alive and don't lose all my stuff, is not going to be a problem for a long time now. And, yeah, I got the gold simply because when I did lose the clock the one time, I felt like an idiot all of a sudden when I didn't have any gold handy to manufacture another clock, because I always pass it up, and so I was like, alright, I should at least take a little bit of gold home. Alright, and so, now the only dark direction is this one, and it looks very scary, but since it's only one direction, I'm going to be a man, and just check it out. Alright. If I say be a man like that, is that sexist? Does that imply that women can't be brave as well? I don't know. I don't mean to imply it that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so there's a room over there, and there's a room in front of me here. 
Wow, this is pretty, pretty big cave. All right, I hear sounds right around here, but this is a dead end. And I'm kind of happy to have the dead end at this point. Obviously, there's another room back there. I might come back to these sounds, but I'm going to take a moment. There's a lot of iron around here. So I'm going to take some moment to iron, to iron, to mine the stuff. And I'll see you guys again in a minute. All right, so I was mining, and then I had a horrible revelation, which is, ah, there's something above me here. Uh, where monsters could be and falling on my head and I don't know what. And so I'm going to come back to this room in a minute. And instead, I'm going to try to clear out more of this room. And so first of all, can I see the ceiling all in here? I think I can. Yes. So I feel okay here. So I'm going to go ahead and go through here. Basically, I want to have really secure dead ends. Okay, so this is a really secure dead end uh, where nothing can fall on me and I'm okay. All right, but there's nothing, there isn't any good ore uh, to mine over here. There's just redstone, and I'm not collecting redstone right now. Uh, all right, and so there is something scary up here, and so I just need to clear that out, and so let's build a staircase. Do-do-do. do 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 Ooh, I hear, hear things walking around. Crap. Ah. All right, still not completely on my game when it comes to beating creepers rather than having them explode on me. But I did at least see him coming and managed not to take damage. My armor absorbed a little bit of that. I don't hear anyone else walking around right now, so now seems like a good time to go ahead and light this up. All right, I hear a skeleton. I hear something in the water. Hear a lot of stuff in the water. All right, there's a... ah crap! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Ugh. All right, here's what I want to do. I don't want to deal with all this right now. And so I will do that. I will close it off. I'll leave one little hole here, uh, just so I know that there's something right there. And then ah, uh, there's another something here too. All right, let's check this out. One thing at a time, one by one, we get this all lit up and then we feel safe. All right, so this little alcove is empty, but obviously there's a place that creepers could have spawned to run down into that room. All right, and now I have a lot of secure area uh, where I think no monsters can get at me. Um, and there's a lot of different things to mine. And so I'm gonna go ahead and mine all this stuff and I'll see you guys again in a minute. You know the drill.